They can arrest the Kubo. They can be using the Kubo. Federal government are using the Kubo to operate in Imo state. And who said the man? Imo state governor. The say the so called Imo state governor are using the Kubo to operate in Imo state. Women Rights Writers Association of Nigeria. What they are doing now is right. What they are doing now is good. But it seems that they started late. Have you been decided in time? I don't think that as in the Kubo, we have stuck in box of what is doing. Now look at it. As in the Kubo, the killings in Imo State was carried out by Asidukubo group, special force, armed by government, and the Bubago, armed by government. They carry out the killing mostly in Imo State. Have this what I'm saying? And the Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria calling federal government to come and arrest uh, the Kubo is impossible. They can arrest the Kubo because they are using the Kubo. Federal government are using the Kubo to operate in Imo state. And who is the man? Imo state governor. The so called Imo state governor. Are using the Kubo operate in Imo state. So it's not easy. What does the government of Nigeria, Abuja, or state government of Uzodima in Oweri can, be, can issue any threat to Asid Kubo? This is why Asid Kubo always proud, carrying ego high. How we kill the egos, how we massacre the egos, how we do this, how we do that. Even coming out to boast that without him, Nigerian army are nothing because he was the one guarding and safeguarding like railway from Abuja to Kasina or, or Kano, I mean Kaduna, which Nigerian army wasn't able to do it. But since the federal government gave him contracts, he has been performing well. And to somebody you call to do job for you and he's performing well, how can you go and arrest him again? How can you stand against him? What is doing what you what you employ him to do? You understand? So human rights writers association of Nigeria, as they have said again, that it's only international body can come for the investigation. That's the only thing. But as for Nigeria government, as far as Sigubo is helping them to kill their friends. There's nothing wrong as the as Kubo did. But let the international body, the United Nations, Human Rights, NSE, NSE, NSE International, she want that in to find out exactly the role of Asil Zikubo as a cool, cool, modern man. They said it was during the Bari, you know, um, regime. That was when he uh, majorly, you know, um, um, his military, him, himself and the military, you know, murdered, killed people, you know, in, in the north and the south. Um, what is um, uh, um, region? The, I don't think that Sri, Sri Kubo can kill in the north. You only specialize in the southeast. And look, when Tulubu was elected after the swearing in, or when he was uh, uh, selected after the swearing in, People give him red carpets to come to Asura to sit down face on mouth to mouth, face to face, eye to eye, and discuss with him. But the governor of Anambra State, Soludo, was disgraced and walked away. The so people walk him away on the inauguration of Tulumbu. They walk him away. Look at the differences. To show you who they are not. And who they look at as Namri or Omibo. 
You understand? Remember, as you do cannot be strong like a Wagner in Russia. But what happened at last? When Wagner leader plot a coup against Russian government, what happened to it? The whole Wagner members turned to be lawyer to Russian government. And at the end, what happened to their leader? I don't forget that. I don't forget the name. I forget the name. They died in plane crash. Nemesis and judgment, wrath of God, fall upon him. So will he be. As he becomes a proper half fool, one day he will touch the tale of living, uh, sleeping lion. He will touch the tale of the sleeping lion. And sleeping lion will rise up and devour him when his cup is full. Let me remind you, let me remind you. Now the guy who said, serve Nigerian government and come by disgrace if you thought you'd be alive. One Fulani government lived by Buhari and the hand over to selected president of Nigeria, Tulumbu. When they use as the Kubo finish and he become worthless, they will tie him so that he will not expose their secret. Because I have not deceived much. Look at the end of a city, Kubo. He shall never go well. He will die a death that he will die. People will jubilate him. Even the so called Niger data he says he's fighting for, they will jubilate him. All those people that are as the Kubo is controlling or following him, they are under as the Kubo spell. They have cast spell on them, not to make themselves than to follow him. That's number one. Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria. Talking of Nam De Talo and the Nanti Allah leader. Uh, what, the, what, what is his name? Um, okay, let me. I don't know. I, I have forgot his name. Whom Tulubu can join Nigeria that they have arrested him. And let us, for the interest of justice, he says he set him free. Interest of justice, real justice, real judgment, we preserve it. Nigerian justice, Nigerian judgment, we preserve it, Nigeria. Who can join Nigeria that have been arrested? Nigerian president. Is it their friend? No. This is why the case of Nam De Kalo. And uh, the anti Allah leader. This is why their cases are different. Now the guy is, a, is Biafra, not a Nigerian. And then how you think that Biafra and Nigeria will have fair right in Nigeria? Why Nigeria are calling for the death of Biafra? Like uh, that senator from Babuchi, uh, Bazo, Bazo, what over? He found his name that said he won't deserve death penalty, not presidency. Eh? That type of people will handle fair rights with Nigerian and Biafra. So they have seen Nam de as Biafra. They have seen Nam de as a man who deserves death penalty. That's why they will not release him. That is why they will not leave him. That is why his own is different from Nancy and La Lida. But the job, but the job, you understand? But the job is a full citizen of Nigeria. Nam Deka is not a full citizen of Nigeria. He's an indigenous son of Biafra. This is the differences. He's a man who believes in his own identity. He's a man who believes in his own culture. He's a man who believes in his own tribe. He's a man who believes in his own nation. That is why he volunteered himself to stand in the gap for restoration of the Repub of Japan Republic government or restoration of Japan government. You see why? That is why 
the job, have upper hand in Nigeria more than Namibia. Okay, let me tell you now. If Biafra restore tomorrow, finally restore tomorrow, and the flying horsemen are killing in Biafra, and Badejo come in in in, in Biafra and say that that uh, he support uh, um, Flammy Hellsmen or he become to defend Flammy Hellsmen do you think that the Niger government will plot for him and set him free? With some treatment, Nigeria are giving Namde Kalo now with the same treatment therefore we give Badejo although therefore depends in fairness they may give you fair trial if he's convinced I commit the crime, then they give him sentence of prison because we don't execute, we don't condemn to death. You understand? So this is we are human rights writers association of Nigeria should consider the differences between Nam de Kalo and Badejo, Nanti and La Lida. And as I said. Unless the international community, what that is in Nam de Carlo case before the truth will come out. You understand? Or uh, the African government in exile, by God's grace, you pass on On this coming December, 2nd December of 2024, finally we are able to declare Biafra. And the quack me, I quack you. Push me, I push you. Everything settled down. And Biafra government finally restored. Then Biafra government will come out and demand for, for release of Nam de Kalo. If they, if they say no, then Biafra have a step to take for its release. Please, they must surely obey. Are you okay? Because everything Biafra is restored. But for them to hold Nam de Kalo, it's a useless, it's waste. Of the motion of releasing. That's the two ways that Namdeka will be released. Then, as for Namdeka law, to have free and fair judgment in Nigeria, that is a completely lie. Devil cannot speak the truth. Devil cannot speak the truth. Satan cannot stand on the way of righteousness. He cannot do it. Okay, we've seen the CBN Governor Cardozo, Emi Cardozo, and the four deputies buy um, SUV, what 10 billion? Sorry, five SUV, what 10 billion? Um, in a country where people cannot even feed for, you know, um, cannot even make ends meet, and you are buying five cars for 10 billion. Then even even the, um, the board members have bought about 20 for 20 for 20 of them. They bought Camry. 80, yeah, Camry, 85 pieces. You know, 85, 85 million. 85 million won. Yeah. 85 million won. Mm, for each and of them. 55 pieces. Yeah. One Nigerian are hungry. By the way, let us just mirror the person of Femi Kadosu. Yemi Kadosu. Yeah. If he has been a popular man on the political platform of Nigeria, nobody has ever known him on the political mainstream, let alone know him as a banker or a man that, you know, I may tag, let's say, an economic manager yeah. or management experts. We know people that could manage economy too well. I can name them here. If you allow Okonji well, I'll invite him. If you could invite a big of the world. I think Femi Pala, Femi Adechina can do well. Then uh, uh, Sarah Alade from Abi Oktai could do well. There are many people that can do well on that platform. That, that, that section of the economy. I mean, the mini finance ministry, are you listening to me? The, the, the central bank governor of 18, you can invite anybody anywhere in the world. Central, state, central bank is a separate entity in any country. I'm aware that the central bank of England was managed by McCann, and McCann did well. Are you listening to me? McCann is a Canadian managing central bank of England. Nigeria has everywhere every reason to invite anybody anywhere in the world but ethnicity individualistic me mentality tribalism and the tribal what by Godfrey, cannot allow us to do the right thing in this country who is femi kadosu who knows him before 
who knows him? What is it that he knows better, best to do? Oga, I don't know him before. Oga, I don't know him before. Oga, this man in question has bought SUV, 10 pieces, each 2 billion, each 2 billion. Okay, 5 pieces, 10 billion, each 2 billion, each 2 billion, 2 times 5, 10. 10 billion naira worth of SUV. In an economic environment, where people cannot afford three square meals in a day. In a country where people could not even afford two square meals in a day. CBN governor is using a bulletproof SUV for two billion only for himself. The rest of the management of the, of the board of Central Bank of Nigeria picked 55 pieces of Camry. Wait, wait, at the rate of one, eight five million naira. Eight five times fifty five. Twenty, Abi. Eight five times twenty. We are talking about how many? Seven billion. Listen and listen good. He is not a good manager. He cannot manage the economy well. Could be that Obi is the central bank governor. Obi will buy. Obi, in the faces of hunger, where Nigeria is suffering from food drought. Come on, there are someone in the land. Obi, Greg Obi, Pete Obi, will go and allow that kind of thing to happen in the CBN. Or could be that today that Okoseleze will do. Obegeli Okoseleze is the CBN governor. Obegeli Okoseleze will go and make that, take that kind of decision and what? Delve into such crazy spending. Okay, what is happening in, in Central Bank is an absolute pandemonium. Extravaganza. They are over financial buoyance. That's why they could dip their hands into the public purse that belongs to the entire country, our commonwealth, spending money as if they are the owner of CBN. Central Bank of Nigeria is the Nigeria Apex Bank. It belongs to all of us. The money in question, they are spending as if tomorrow is gone belongs to you and i is the taxpayers money i contribute you contribute could be it happened in the public of china i think by now the board of directors in cbn all their heads would have been dangling this time around because chinese government will cut behind all of them see let me tell you the problem of nigeria is not Igbo man it's not your man the people that are in charge are the voracious political profiteers People that ask you for contracts, they give you the contracts, they will ask you for 50% in return. That's why the economy is chattered. Scattered, there is what? No dividend of democracy today. Nigerians are hungry. We just finished end bad governance, hunger government, bad government just last month. And today, this month, I think this it's happened this month. And today, we are seeing a country whose president has spent much, much money on yachts. Presenter Jet 3, SUV, $250,000. All of them in the executive department, they all have SUV, $200,000, while Nigerians are dying of hunger. The lawmakers See, the problem. lawmakers, they spent much, much money on cars. SUV, whose four tires cost at least not less than $200,000. Dollars. You can see the amount of money they use to renovate or build a building or house or duplex for Nigerian Vice President Chetima. It was it is running in billions up to the tune of 14, 14 billion naira. And the people could not go to school because their parents could not afford school fees. This is the kind of place an Igbo man found himself. I see retreats that Igbo man is going. The woman is sitting out of Nigeria as a result of mismanagement of Nigeria economy by the Yoruba and the Fulani hegemony. We are not going anywhere from here. Today, we are talking about hate speech, hate that. I beg, we are begging. Divert your attention to the dilapidated, dilapidated economy of Nigeria. Amaka, Nandekanu, Gregobi, and Simon Epa and never Nigerians problem and they can never constitute problems to Nigeria. The problems of Nigeria are the post school what class? 
the military clique that has subjected themselves to what embarrassment, national embarrassment by guiding, protecting people that are bent on destroying Nigerian nation, the police, the military. I think we are all buying fuel from the same fuel station. Nobody will segregate over that. Nobody will be discriminated. Are you listening to me? Indiscriminately, everybody is buying from the same pump price, killing station. So this time around, it is, it is interwoven. It's not only the Igbo man, it's not only the Yoruba man, it's not only the House of Flanagan man, the Yoruba man, the Ethic man, it, compass, it encompasses the whole tribes.